and I want to, I, I put this data security stuff on here just because it's kind of safety related and, and I won't force you to say much about it, even though it's the company you represent. But I think that a lot is made about DJI, data security, connections to China, all that stuff. One thing that I want everyone here to know, and this is coming from me, someone that's worked at DJI, someone that's also worked for large US companies, and I feel like I have something to to gain and to lose by being uh, right or wrong, is that DJI, without a doubt, has spent more money to validate, to, uh, to um, audit, and to secure data. Yes, DJI is a Chinese company, but I'm just saying that there's you could look at other drones on the market and they haven't gone through this length to protect your data. And I think that there's a lot of geopolitics that come into play in the drone space in which de detracts and distracts from quality componentry. And I just want to remind that when a company uh, in you know the United States claims that their data is secure just because they're based in the United States, there's hundreds or thousands of breaches of, uh, of data that are on AWS servers uh, in, based in the US. And I think that it's just, it's a very narrow-minded way to look at the drone industry, country of origin, and, and thinking that DJI is the enemy when DJI has done more to protect your data than any other drone manufacturer. And I could say that claim confidently. Is there anything else we want to add to that or should we just jump to the, the next thing? Thanks for covering it. The only thing I got to add is there's a complete offline mode. If you do not want this drone to touch and ping anything, not that it does, and we've spent, like you said, the most amount of money that anyone has to make sure those claims are right, um, you can operate this thing completely offline. That's fine. 